Cameron, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. I'm Wendell. This is Wendell. He's Hi. all the way out of Florida. Uh, and we are the RC Sailors. Uh, today we're going to fly the Bix 3. They've remade this in a different color scheme. And we're excited about that because we're going to fly with our friend. Uh, what part of Florida are you from? Uh, Port St. John. Right, uh, right across from the Kennedy Space Center. And uh, what, is, what do you mostly fly? We've been flying it together. You guys don't know this. I know what he flies. But... Uh, I'm a drone flyer. DJI stuff, you know, the easy thing to fly. <laughs> <laughs> no, we like our drones too. Uh, probably after we do our video with this, we might even get Wendell in the air. And, uh, oh, it's a great beginner plane. I'm not sure if we'll put it on the channel. I don't love it very much. But it's, it's part of what we do. We try to help people get into the hobby and he's never flown a fixed wing plane before. so. Today might be the first day for that. We might get a couple shots of it, we'll see. But Abby and I are gonna put this in the air, do a little drone chasing. If you see any drone chasing shots, that's me on the drone and Abby flying the Bix 3. We are a huge fan of the Bix <clears throat> 3 planes and so we wanted to get Abby one of her own and that's what this is for. The new collar scheme just seemed appropriate for her. Uh, it should be nice and easy to see in the sky. We've got our uh, nice stripes on the bottom of the wing. So for orientation, that's awesome. And this has a 20 amp ESC pre-installed right under the canopy here, held on with earth magnets. It comes with four nine gram servos pre-installed. That's for your rudder, elevator, and aileron controls, but you can install two more nine gram servos for the flaps. Now here's the interesting thing that we've done for the flaps. On our, on our first VIX-3, we decided to use the flaps and we love them, but they advertise this as being able to fly without those flaps installed. So we installed the hinges that are that come with this and we hot glued the hinges so they don't move. And on the bottom here, we uh, I, I hot glued uh, the whole gap in between the wing and the flap. Now, if I did something wrong, tell me, go ahead. That's fine because I'm learning what maybe the best way to solidify that hinge would have been for the flaps. We just thought we'd do something different with this one. A little different. Uh, instead of doing the flaps this time, we thought, you know, it's for a beginner, it's probably not that easy to install servos for the flaps. Yeah. So let's try them to do it without the flaps. Right. So little hot glue trickery there. Our motor is a 2620 1400 kV brushless outrunner motor. And this plane is going to fly on uh, probably something like a three cell to maybe a four cell as long as you don't juice it anywhere between like an 1800 2200 milliamp lipo you can usually pick those up for 15 20 bucks maybe even cheaper in some places uh, we'll have a couple options for you linked in the description box below and you notice this is a huge wingspan it's a 15 50 millimeter wingspan from one tip to the other that's a that's a big plane which means it's going to be easy to see for beginners you can get nice long flights with this catch some thermals and if you hit the right breezes keep this in the air for a really long time another thing that makes it super beginner friendly is having the prop and motor mounted in the rear up high so when you're landing and things that's going to be out of the way of getting damaged as if it were you know opposed to being on the front of the plane you can also take the landing gear off very easily and install it easily so if you want to do belly landings and taller grass and hand takeoffs you can do that but we're going to do everything from the ground today so, I think that about wraps all this up. Let's get this in the air and just have some fun with the Bix 3. This is a great plane. We'll have a link in the description box below. Everything has been trimmed up already on this, but we trimmed it up in extreme winds, so there's no wind right now. We may do some tiny bit of trimming when we're in the air, but it flies beautifully, so let's go ahead and take off. Yeah, this is great. Very happy with this. So we put a LiPo alarm in here. Uh, I'll be flying with the motor on uh, more than off for this video. So we should get a nice alarm when it gets low, but look at that beautiful plane. Oh, that was my finger, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm distracted. <laughs> we actually, we need to scoot up just to hear anything. Okay, Every let's time go right you fly ahead. on this side of the field, okay. there's gonna be something in the way. All right.
It's been months since we've got a plane in the air Talk and I'm so happy, <laughs> so happy to have this in the air right now. Let's get a nice close flyby. So Wendell had a really good question while the camera was off. Uh, Wendell, what was your question? Why did you glue the flaps and what do they do? Okay, so that's a great question. Uh, I think that as a, as a beginner, you may not necessarily need the flaps, but if you're advancing kind of quickly, it might be nice to have. So with, with flaps, what you can do is throw a switch on your transmitter, and it's gonna make those flaps right by the ailerons drop down, and it's gonna slow your plane down a lot and create a lot of lift. And that comes in handy, mainly, for landings and takeoffs. You like can, an air brake. Yeah, an air brake, basically. Oh. You, can, you can come in hot, on a steep dive and throw those flaps and it'll slow you down and create lift. So if you don't have a very long runway, um, they come in really handy, really handy for that. That's really the main reason you want flaps, but you don't have to have them. It can kind of make things a little more confusing for a beginner because you add an extra channel mm -hmm. and you're just adding more to think about. So the fact that this is four channels without flaps is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and mix this up a little bit and throw a loop at it. So we're gonna climb a little bit. We'll increase our throttle and nose down and just pull back on the elevator. And we can drop the throttle there. Sweet. And that's a nice loop. Super smooth. and this should be able to do rolls pretty well. Let's go ahead and get this thing a roll. Lost a little altitude, but that's mostly my fault. Well, this isn't really meant to do these types of maneuvers anyway. No, but it's nice that it can. So what we'll do is gain a little altitude. Okay, let's see. Might have had some wind working against me there, but that was a pretty good roll. I don't know how it looked on camera, but it looked okay. So we've had this plane before. Right. This is just the new color scheme for the BIX-3. And one of the coolest things that we're not doing for you today, but we'll have the old videos carted throughout this so you can check it out, is that this comes with a wood FPV platform. So right. instead of that uh, foam canopy on the front, you can put this flat wood platform on it and mount an FPV camera, mount an action camera, and you could do FPV flying or long range flying if you really wanted to. So I think that's like the coolest thing about this. I don't know what you think about it, Nathan. I agree, yeah. Um, and I encourage you guys to check out our older videos. I've noticed we've got a big plane over here. It looks like it's really close. It's actually very far away. <laughs> they don't but even, there it is. you guys is. see that now? I'm just... <laughs> It That's looks FedEx! Like, it's FedEx! It looks like our plane's right on it. <laughs> There's the plane. Now, it's where actually are really you? far away. I'm below there, the there FedEx. You there you go. Yeah. FedEx! <laughs> Let's do maybe like a little touch and go. I mean, there's no wind right now. I feel like we should just toss the controls to you. I know you said to wait, but there's there's no wind, and I think you should fly this. Let me ask you this. Yeah. How long is this flight time going to be, you think? I don't know, but we can toss the toss the controls back to me to land it. Yeah, you need to fly this. Well, I was just wondering because I want them to have some good video. <laughs> oh, this is great. You got the good video. Yeah, Burn. Fine. I know. Okay, all right, I'll fly it a little longer. There you go. That's what they A little too fast see. for touch and go, and I pulled up. Yeah, let's make that. Let's make that look a little better. It started off looking great, and then I pulled up too much. So, did the um, old color scheme of the Bix Three? Did it not have those um, stripes on the bottom? It does, if I remember right. Okay. It does. I wasn't I sure if it did or not. 
So we, I think we have our brake on the ESC because that motor stopped really quickly. Really quickly. You're a crazy person. Oh, I'm just having fun with it. It's a really maneuverable plane, but it also does glide pretty well. We That's can a do it. Oh, it's a beautiful day for this. I'm so happy to be out right now. Are you now. touching and going? I will. No. Okay, let's do one. We're waiting on it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> We try here on the RC sailors. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I need a little power. The shrubs. The shrubs. The shrubs. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out. Like I said, we try here on the RC sailors. <laughs> we try. That's right. Is that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take? Okay. Same let's with get touch and goes. Here. <laughs> come on, come Kiss on, it. come on, come on. You can do it. There we go. Oh there wait, go. Okay. I, I kind of missed it. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bad camera work, that's what I get for making fun of you. <laughs> well, we're kind of just having some fun here guys with this plane and I think that should say a lot because we know we like the Bix 3 and we just had to pick one there up for Abby too. Oh no! Oh! Oh, how embarrassing! Yeah, that was awful. <laughs> oh yeah, blame it on the grass. Walk of shame, here we go. We'll go with Wendell. So Abby's not happy about it because I'm making her pressure. <laughs> peer pressure. I told her it's time for her to fly though. So do I need to stand out here to prove it? No, no, you've got the controls. I think everyone believes <laughs> believes us. I'll walk out here in a bit. I like when Nathan gives me some guidance and it's been a while. We flew that Delta wing, but it flies a lot different than planes. Sure. So that was an embarrassing landing. You can't do much worse than me. Go, 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 give it the juice. Very nice. Yep. You got it. So like about what percentage of throttle were you flying at? Um, you'll be able to tell. Much? Yeah, you're a little high right now. All right. But just go ahead and get a feel for the plane. just to turn out to be a perfect evening for this. I'm so glad we decided to do this. If you guys have followed us for a while, you'll know that I'm a pretty big fan of the, this pusher prop style plane. It's very beginner friendly. And you saw that little flip that Nathan just did. That can happen a lot oh, on yeah. landings, flipping like that. And uh, the fact that the prop is in the back, it just saves your prop. It saves your motor from getting crashed. I know I fly way too high, guys. Yeah, you're really far away. This isn't a great, <laughs> a great video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my style. Yeah. <laughs> They're not. It looks like an ant, are. probably. I might have even lost you for a second, too. Yeah, we're up. We're up in the clouds. Bring it in a little lower. This is such a good plane to build your confidence on. It's just, like you said, beginner friendly. All right, we'll cut the throttle. Cut the throttle. Cutting the throttle. Now we just got to get it to turn over here. It only has one way to go. It does fly better. <laughs> with... One way to go is down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get some close shots one way or another. Uh, it only, I think it flies much better under power, but she is gliding right now. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Looks great. Watch me go in Death Valley. <laughs> Let's not land down there. That's the goal. Stay out of Death Valley. I'm okay with that goal. <laughs> I think our 
our weed uh, trimmed path is still kind of there. Yeah. We'll bring it in a little bit closer for us here. I'm working on it. Don't rush me. <laughs> I keep struggling to get it to turn this way. I think I'm a left hand turner. That's the issue. I have to take, take left hand turns all the time. Am I getting my directions wrong? You two looked at each other like, what's she talking about? No, no. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the moment. Yeah. <laughs> This is about as low as I get. That's good. Yeah, it looks great on camera. Thank you. That's a good shot. Look at us go. Recording airplanes. I didn't know if we'd ever have another plane on the channel again at the pace we were going. The, uh, the thing I think we're most excited about, woo, got a little gust there, mm -hmm. uh, is our RCS Fest in June on Father's Day weekend that we're hosting at a full scale airport concrete runway you can camp out there it's gonna be a lot of fun so we'll have all the details of that link down in the description box below and it's not just planes it, bring your trucks bring your quadcopters whether yeah. it's gps quadcopters race drones mini whoops it'll be a lot of fun Foamy Ninja is going to set up a nice little micro uh, kind of mini whoop style course and Stacy Abshire is going to be taking the lead on race drone stuff down at the end of the runway. It's going to be really cool. Yeah. And Abby, I think she wanted to walk out here just so everyone could see she's flying. Great. Yeah. She's doing good. She is good. Yeah. And she's flying over. Where are we at? I think she's going to grab right now. Well, I think you are going to fly here in a little bit. Oh, we, we should have enough. <laughs> we should have enough daylight. There's no wind. And this is a great plane to get a feel for. Wendell is uh, only a basically GPS drone guy, and this will be his first time flying a plane. We'll have to get a quick shot of it on the camera oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll be right right by you the whole time. Oh, okay. The hard part's walking backwards. <laughs> yeah, Abby's walking back here to the camera. Hello. Sometimes people still like to say things like she's not actually flying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like for all I know, they probably think, yeah, she's she might be holding that transmitter, but there's someone in the background flying for. <laughs> it's just me, you, and Wendell it's today. It's actually me doing this pretty not very amazing. Well, flight. I know you know how to do loops. Give him a loop. No, it's scary. <laughs> Give him a loop. This isn't a plane you do that stuff on. Oh, this. Why and you, you saw me to, do loops. Why do you have to give me such a hard time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it helps to get a little speed. Mm -hmm. How much throttle? Full throttle, baby. Do, do it. it. Full throttle. I can't do it. <laughs> Nose down and then pull back on the elevator. You got this. What? I'm, I'm not, uh, this isn't my attempt. Okay. Okay, okay you're just turning. Okay. To it, you know? We gotta get some get suspense. Mm -hmm. We'll do one more circle. I'll bet you we'll have Wendell doing loops by the end of the day. Oh I am a slow RC learner. It takes me a while. And I gotta get way high and way out in Death Valley. <laughs> go for it. Go, go, go. You got this right oh, now. Yeah, no. I like to go on from right to left. Okay. <laughs> we all have we all have our methods. It's okay. You got it. Go, go, go. Loop, loop, loop. Yeah. You got, got it. Got. Good job. That's, That's all it. you needed. I'm done. I'm happy. <laughs> how about how about we try landing? Okay. In a bit. I think I hear the alarm. So. Oh, awesome. This you're okay. Is not good. The reason you're hearing the alarm now is because the voltage spiked down a little bit when you did your loop yeah. at full throttle. So you really have a lot of juice left. So you can make as many attempts as you want. Where am I going? It's okay. I think you'll want to come in with a tiny bit of power on because it does, yeah. you have more control over this plane with a small bit of power. So right now the profile of her plane, kind of hard to see out there with that white. She's really far out. 
the camera just doesn't do it much justice. <clears throat> you can give it a couple attempts. You're definitely too high for this attempt. So Abby's out there. She's lining herself up to come in. This is awesome. I love that we're out here right now. I just, planes. Look at the colors. I know, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. So that's definitely the right approach. You're just, just a little too high for this. Giving us a nice shot though, Abby. I don't know about this one, Nathan. You got it. Just give it a couple attempts. We all want to see you bring it down. Anyone that's still watching would love to see you land. Yeah, you got it. That's great. Mm -hmm. Low throttle and just bring it in nice and level. Get it low to the ground. Keep your speed up and then flare. You got it. You got it. Great job. Great job. Good job. Perfect. Couldn't ask for a better landing. There you have it, guys. The Hobby King Vix 3. It's an amazing plane. I think that it's a lot of fun for people that have flown quite a few planes because every now and then it's nice just to get a plane in the air that you don't have to really worry about having total total control over every second but because this has a dihedral wing with that nice curve to it it's very beginner friendly and you can take your hands off the controls for a few seconds at a time glance away and you don't have to worry about this plane plummeting to the ground because it just wants to stay in the air it's really nice docile but fairly acrobatic plane being able to do loops and slow rolls and i like that a lot um, prime example Wendell's never flown a plane before, ever, and me having flown a few planes before, we're going to get him in the air with this this evening. So uh, we'll show a couple shots of that. I don't want the camera to be too distracting of him flying, but this is a great trainer plane. A good first or second plane for anybody, or in our case, like 30th or 40th plane, I don't know. Uh, but I do give this two thumbs up, that's why we have a second one now. The VIX-3 is very versatile with the ability to add the camera platform on the front that comes with it. We just don't have it here with us today. And uh, we absolutely, absolutely can't say enough good things about this plane for what it is. If you're interested in this plane, we'll have it linked in the description box. Also, be sure to check out the carded videos throughout this video of previous VIX-3 flights. And we'd love to see you guys come to RCS Fest. Yeah, those VIX-3 flights have the FPV footage. Right, so. yeah. And RCS Fest is the go-to event this year. Let's just, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Wendell, off camera, did a loop, which was amazing. Uh, he's, he's learning. So there are a few dives and things, which uh, takes a little experience to pull out of. But overall, he's doing amazing. One of the best beginner pilots for airplanes I've ever seen. I think he's lying about never flying a plane. No, I flew computer simulator. Okay. So Look at that sunset back there, guys. Back to you, left to right, and to right. You want to go right to right? Well, that's just the direction we're heading oh, for, okay. for orientation for you. So, hands in the pockets, Wendell's flying. He's doing a great job. Doing a great job. This camera doesn't do very good at airplanes. Here we go. We're going to do it. You did it. Nice. And blurry. Right. There you go. Yeah, it okay. was a white blur. That's okay. You know, <laughs> I'll go switch I'll cameras. So Wendell's at the controls and um, he's doing a very good job. It's so beautiful right now. Very good job. You're very low for a beginner pilot. <laughs> <laughs> he's putting me to shame. So Wendell's got the controls again. With a beautiful sunset, very little wind, like 50 degree weather in January in Kentucky. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. As I said, beginner friendly plane. I mean, I think this speaks. <laughs> it's amazing. It's your first time. Yeah. First time flying an RC plane. You think you can show off a loop for him, Wendell? Yeah. You did it. Let me get set up for it. Okay. Keep your height. See, when you bank, you lose a little altitude if you don't use that elevator. There you go. And, and rudder control. But you got it. Throttle up and pull back. Okay, here we go. You got it. Pull back, pull back. Throttle, throttle. He did it with no throttle. I got scared. I didn't get it all. I was like, <laughs>
<laughs> I heard the throttle cut out and I panicked. See, Nathan is way more calm with this stuff. I well, panic. I'm like, oh! It's foam. If it crashes, it's foam. <laughs> but it's not going to crash. We got this under control. <laughs> We're right here together. A little teamwork. Now oh, this is perfect to learn this way. It yeah. really is. It takes a lot of the fear out of it. I can't believe it. Just with the sun hitting it right now and the blue sky and the white clouds. Yeah. We've had a lot of gray skies lately, so. It's really, there's a loop. Oh yeah. There we, there go. we go. There so you go. So at RCS Fest, Nate and some of our other pilot friends will be buddy boxing. So you can learn how to fly an RC plane. With planes just like these. If you've never flown before. So it'll be a lot of fun. Look at that pink sky. I know, man. It's great, isn't it? Yeah.